We have a lot of things to talk about today in the real estate market because we got a new Redfin report. It says that 2023 is on pace for the fewest home sales since 2008 as mortgage rates, the 30-year mortgage is hitting close to 8%. But it's not just about that, but also with big investors no longer betting against treasuries, we're seeing something very, very unique. In fact, this is so tempting that I know people personally that have money to buy a second or third home for investment have now decided to not buy any homes, but instead doing things as simple as just putting like 200 grand into Robinhood and literally get like a lot of money just from the interest, right? If you put $500,000 into Webull Cash Management or Robinhood Cash Management, you get 5% which is a very, very good rate. And that's just like the bare minimum these days. You put half a million in, instead of buying a half a million dollar home, you could pretty much get two grand every single month, right? Because it's 5% for 12 months, every month you get two grand from just half a million dollars. So we're seeing a lot of really rich investors who have the down payment to buy like a $1.8 million home in a major city in the US, but now have decided, you know what, screw this, because HOA is high, property taxes are high, and home insurance is extremely high, especially in places like Florida. So this is why many investors are no longer doing this. And plus, there's even a lot of banks. They offer special promotions, like 5.2% on CDs for just 10 months. That's an incredible deal, and we're seeing this. In fact, you're not gonna be seeing lower rates anytime soon this year, and it probably won't have lower rates until next year in November. So this is why many people are no longer buying homes. And this is very scary for the people who are listing many of these properties on the market because several of these properties, they can't be sold. Nobody wants it. Nobody's crazy enough to spend like $1.2 million on a home. In fact, many people are rather put their money in a high-end savings account they could put it in a brokerage. Fidelity, Charles Schwab offers a lot of those services where you just park your money there and you get interest. It's such a good deal that even I'm parking a lot of my cash in a lot of those areas because the stock market is very unstable. But hey, if you look at the you know bond markets, the treasury markets, it's very, very juicy and people are rushing to lock in rates. So who in the right minds will be buying a home? And don't even get me started the whole Airbnb situation because Airbnb rental revenues are plummeting. It used to be like several years ago, if you own an Airbnb rental, it was a fairly new thing. It was very, very popular. And people who own Airbnb properties were making about twenty dollars to $40,000 per property per year on average. So if you own about two to three properties in the Airbnb industry, you're basically set for life. You can retire early. So you had this huge over-investing in the Airbnb property market during the pandemic, which is causing a lot of Airbnb properties, even in very popular and vacation-heavy cities like Miami, to have drastic price cuts. Look at this condo. This is a big price cut of $326 down to $260. We got a price cut you know, up here from $99 to $69, $550 to $400. 300 to 153, you get the idea. Like even in super hot places like Miami, there seems to be an oversupply, overabundance of Airbnb properties. Airbnb San Francisco, for example, said before the pandemic, out of 30 nights, they could rent out like 28 nights. Now they can only rent out maximum of like a full week. And it shows you that it's no longer as popular as before. Airbnbs are cool, but there's still a lot of people who love hotels. I mean, look at this Airbnb property. It's very, very nice, right? You got plentiful space, great amenities. You're in a massive condo building in the middle of Brick Hill. And many of these prices in some of the high-end places of America are going downhill. And we're seeing a lot of Airbnb properties slowly going bust. And we're going to be seeing more Airbnb listings coming up not for rent, but for sale, but by far coming on the market at the worst time possible. You could only sell a home if you do a massive discount. And this is why we're seeing foreclosures on the rise, especially in places like Florida, California, and Texas. The reason behind these places is there's a lot of real estate activity and a lot of movement of population inflow and outflows. So Cali obviously is very popular, 
during the pandemic, like San Francisco, for example, a bunch of people invested in Airbnb, a bunch of people invested in offices and real estate, and now look at it. The Bay Area is having a population decline. Same thing with the rest of California. For the first time in California history, population is no longer growing in many cities. It's actually decreasing. Same thing with Florida. Tampa, Orlando, Miami are all very popular places, but when you have just too many people investing it, this is what you get. This is what you get when you have just so many people investing and there's not enough demand. And look at this, right? You have some of the craziest discounts. I mean, $192 to $150 a night. And these prices are only gonna get cheaper and cheaper. And eventually, Airbnb properties go bust, investor money goes bust, and many of these home foreclosures are mostly from people who over leverage, right? People who at first can only buy maybe one home, but because of zero rates, people buy three homes and they try to rent out the other two to make money. But now with rentals being at an all time low, rents are dropping, new construction is going crazy. Many of these people are now going bankrupt. And this is just a form of over leveraging that we've seen before. And especially the 8% mortgage rate, it's a massive turnoff, okay? I mean, can you imagine buying a home right now? The bank tells you, oh, it's almost 8% for a 30 year mortgage. Whereas just three years ago, could get one for three to four percent. Of course, many people are not taking this. Eight percent is insanely high. This is one of the highest we've ever seen in probably like two decades, I think. And the amount of people buying a home is at an all time low. People just don't want to buy a home. And commercial office properties are even worse, with many of these commercial office properties actually going down in price. And many of these prices in, for example, San Francisco, they're at like a 20 year low in price. And even places like Seattle, we're seeing many offices, they can't even be turned into residential properties and they're actually going downhill as well. Like I said before, it really does boils down to bonds, treasuries, and these safer assets. Because it used to be like, if you bought bonds, you know, during the pandemic, that was the dumbest thing to do. You barely made any money, right? Just a few percentages here and there, but now it's so juicy. I mean, you could park your money anywhere and earn just pretty nice interest. I mean, just giving you another example, Robinhood, the reason why I like to do that is because it's super simple. It's an easy interface and you just throw your money in and they give you you know, monthly interest. If you put 50 grand into Robinhood, you get like $200 every single month, right? So that's pretty nice, right? You know, many of these places, they offer like 5%, but they split it up in monthly payments every single month, which makes it super appealing. And that's also one of the reasons why a lot of people just don't wanna buy a home. You know, most homeowners who are going to the real estate market are investors, okay? They already own a home. They wanna buy a second, third, or fifth home. But now they're like, okay, you know what? Maybe that's not the right thing to do, okay? Maybe it's time to sell the property and put the money and all that cash into something very nice, like a high-end savings account. And we're seeing this everywhere, right? Banks are advertising their CD percentages like crazy. And this is exactly what's going on.